so the first way to increase your memory is to avoid cramming so what is cramming studying materials over a number of sessions gives you the time you need to adequately process the information research has continuously shown that the students who study regularly remember the material far better than those who do all their studying in one marathon session so take breaks and second one is utilize mnemonic devices are a technique often used to stu by students to aid in recall a mnemonic is simply a way to remember information so come up with rhymes song or jokes to help the remember the specific segments the third one is the structure and organize so the study has found that the information is organized in memory in related clusters you can take advantage of this structuring and organizing the materials you are studying try grouping similar concepts and terms together or make an outline of your notes and textbook readings to help group related concepts so this is very important one to focus your attention attention is one of the major components of memory in order for information to move from your short term memory into your long term memory you need to actively attend to this information try to study in a place free from distractions such as television music and other diversions getting rid of distractions might be a challenge especially if you are surrounded by boisterous roommates and noisy children So the fifth one is to elaborate and rehearse. One of the most effective encoding technique is known as elaborative rehearsal. An example of this technique would be to read the definition of a key term, then the study the definition that term and then read a more detailed description of what that term means. After repeating this process a few times, you will probably notice that recalling the information is much easier. and the most important out of all this is to visualize the concepts many people benefit from this pay attention to the photographs charts and other graphics in your textbooks if you don't have visual cues to help try creating your own okay draw charts and figures in margins of your notes use highlights or paints in different colors and write it in your own study material it's very important So the seventh one is the relate new information when you are studying an unfamiliar material take the time to think how it is information relates to you by establishing a relationship between new ideas and previously existing memories so you can dramatically increase the likelihood of getting it memorized and the eighth one is very important is the read out loud so study shows that reading out loud significantly improves your memory of the material educators and psychologists have also discovered that having students actually teach new concepts to others enhances understanding and recall so use this approach in your own studies by teaching new concepts and information to a friend or a study partner so this is the one of the effective one and very from very your study routine is it is important to change your place of study occasionally okay and and your routine as well if you are accustomed to studying in one specific location try moving to different spot during your next study session if you study in evening try spending a few minutes each morning reviewing the information you studied the previous night give some time to process your information and convert your data into information and the tenth and the last one that the study has shown that the sleep is important for memory and obviously for learning and research has shown that taking a nap after you learn something new can actually help you to learn faster and remember better In fact, one study published in 2014 found that sleeping after learning something new actually leads to physical changes in brain. Sleep deprived mice experienced less dendritic growth following a learning task than well-rested mice. So these are the 
contain very useful beneficial for all teachers students professionals so read that again and please like the video and share the video and subscribe the channel thank you very much